Uh, this is my review of a graphic novel by the name of Habibi. And I actually I received it as a Christmas present, um, but I've only recently just got around to reading it because I've just had a huge backlog of reading material. And I finally got around to reading this. I've been very keen to read it for a while. And yeah, I thought it was a very good, uh, very good story. Um, it's a heartbreaking story at times. It's, uh, it has a lot of tragedy. It's not for the faint-hearted. There's a lot of uh, tragedy, and it's a very, a very emotional ride uh, through the story of the book. Um, it's obviously not, also not for children. Either. It has some quite graphic sex and violence in it, but it does tell a very powerful story. Um, it, there's a lot of themes that run through it. Religion being one. Um, it makes a number of comparisons between Islam and Christianity. It, uh, the main characters in it are Muslim, at least culturally. Uh, both both culturally and theologically, they do display um, traits of being both. Um, so there's a lot of uh, references to the Quran in there, as well as some to the Bible. They make some comparisons to the Bible from time to time. Um, the 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 story touches on subjects such as gender identity, um, sexual politics, uh, as well things like that. So we've got religion, uh, sexual politics, gender identity, gender issues, uh, also environmental issues. It does touch on those as well. Uh, there's a lot in there about the relationship between humankind and the natural world. Um, I I do think one thing I I found quite intriguing about it was that it's the location and the era in which it's set seem kind of blurry and they seem to almost change it the guy craig thompson the the author he seems to you know unapologetically uh, just employ artistic license and changes the location and the era uh, as and when it suits him so it's like this story that we're reading which takes place over a number of years but certainly not more than over a lifetime um, you know at one point it's a bit like we're in uh, the medieval some medieval part of the Middle East but then in, in some scenes we're seeing uh, wrecks of cars lying around and things like that um, and you think well maybe it's not quite so medieval maybe it's a little bit more 20th century maybe but then in other scenes, I mean, it's almost a bit like in, 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 we're in the near future or something like that. He seems to just quite happily just move the era, bring things in cause, uh, from other eras um, without any real you know, apology at all. He just seems to do that, just brings in, just happily changes the location as well. Um, at some points, yeah, it seems like we're in the Middle East. At other points, it feels a bit like we're, we're suddenly in the Western world. Um... <laughs> You know, it's quite it's quite strange how that works, but it seems to work really well. It's almost almost like a parable, I suppose, in some ways. Um, and I think he you know, he's fully aware he's doing this. this isn't isn't an oversight or a continuity error. I think he's just really pushing his luck with his artistic license, and I quite like that. Um, yeah, overall, I found this you know a very good book, a very good graphic novel, uh, very nicely illustrated. Uh, tells a very powerful story. It's not always an, an easy story, like I say. It's it's an emotional roller coaster ride. It can be very heartbreaking at times, but it touches on a number of of issues, um, important issues of the time, of our times, and some timeless issues, which I think is why the story has something of a timeless feel. But yes, I'd highly recommend this book. Uh, I found it to be a very good read. Um, so yeah, that's my review.